Hi, I'm Terry McFeely and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap petals. Petal wrapping is a technique that I use on many of my flower patterns. We're going to start with a rose bud and I have already pre-basted the bud along the lines shown on the pattern piece. So, when I basted, I used a quilting thread for a stronger pulling thread when you go to gather. So we will start by gathering, pulling the basting stitch, and also I did back tack on this end so that you do have something to pull to and you don't have to tie both ends. The pattern specifies gathering to about one inch, and I have this great table here where inches are marked. And I am going to, instead of tying off, I'm going to be just pulling the top thread. Well, I pulled it off, but that should be okay. It should stay. I am going to be using a quick dry tacky glue. Beacon 3-in-1 is one of my favorites. I also use hot glue. Hot glue, though, for beginners can be a little bit problemsome just because it dries so fast. So when you're using 3-in-1 glue, remember to put the cap on after you've used it. If not, the glue will dry out and you'll waste your entire bottle. So we will start by putting some glue along the ungathered edge. And this does take a little bit more time to dry, so it's okay just sitting there for a minute. This is a pre-assembled stem. I've covered it with fabric, and there is a tutorial on that that you can look up. So I am just going to start by wrapping tightly over and over and over until I get to where the gathers start. I could have gathered the entire piece but I think it's easier to do it in steps. So now I will finish the gluing, applying the glue. This is an older bottle, a little bit slower than what a new bottle would be. Let me place my cap and now just continue to turn to wrap. And when you're finished, Squeeze it with your fingertips. And I like to count 1,001 to about 18 or 20 until the glue is set. These little clover clips are great because if you were doing multiple flowers, you could just clip it to dry and start another flower. So while that is drying, here is the flower sash. And this is what connects the stem to the actual bud. I'm going to place a dab of glue right in the center. If this was single-sided fabric, this would be, we'd be placing glue on the wrong side. But since this is a batik, it really doesn't matter. You can put it on either side. So we'll unclip this. We will trim the threads. And we will place this right in the center there. You can see there's a few threads here that you can leave, but I'm kind of a neat freak, so I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, now I'm going to place a bead of glue on one side of the sash, sash edge and pick it up and just bring it to the center and hold it. If you'd like, put a clip on it. That's fine. And then we'll do the same on the other side. To 
break the glue bead too. It's great if you just hit hit it hard and it breaks it. If not, you pull your glue, glue away and you have a long string and it can be messy. So we'll take this clip off. We'll flip this over. And then we can clip again. And we'll wait for it to dry and then we'll fluff our flower. Okay, once it's all dry and set, I like to use a curling iron. This is a 3 8 iron. A half inch iron would work. I've even used up to a one inch iron. But for small buds like this, I really do like the smaller iron. Those buds are pretty straight because um, flowers don't normally curl until they get older. But I like to curl the sash petals back. And then if you'd like to just be a little creative, you might want to curl one tip forward. Or I guess it would be back. So here you have it. Your bud is now ready to be wired to your rose flower stem. I'm going to show you multi-petal wrapping now, and we're going to be making an iris. This is a full-sized iris, and there are four separate petal pieces. So, in the beginning, there is the very center. So I'm gathering it to about one half inch. I pulled my top thread, and I'm cutting off the threads. Put a little bit of glue on the base stitching. Place the stem, the fabric covered stem, on top and wrap it tight. At this point I'm going to use a clip and just let it set while I'm starting the next layer. So the next layer is gathered to again about a little over a half an inch, probably more like three quarters of an inch. It's all specified in the instructions. Okay, pulled that a little too tight, but it'll hold. Okay, put a little bead of glue on the basting again. Take off the clip. When I set this down, I'm going to try to take a, the space in between these two petals and put it on the center of the next row of petals so that you have alternating petals. Again, I'm going to hold that until it's set. Clip works great. All right. Layer three. Gather this up. Again, about three quarters of an inch. Pull the top thread. Get rid of those. Glue. Cap. Okay, here's a space. So I'm going to center right in the middle of that center petal and wrap each end up and over and hold. There. Now on the last layer, so we got it probably closer to an inch to get around all those other gathers. top of the base stitching. And again, the 
There's the space. We're centering right on the middle petal. And we're going to wrap each end up and over to meet in the center. And you might want to look at your flower to make sure these are spaced properly. So you can kind of fuss with them a bit. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to hold that. There's a lot to clamp at this point, so I'm just going to hold it until it's set. not to pull when you're holding it. Don't pull on it because you will take the entire flower off the stem and have to start over. Alright, so now we have a little sash. And just as with the bud, I'm going to put a little bead of glue right in the center. And then I'm going to lay this right on top. It's okay to scrunch the flower up a little bit, just so that it all lays in there. I'll put my glue here. I'm going to be brave and put my glue over here also. And then I'm going to wrap this up to the center. And I'm going to wrap this around also. This is a good time for a clip. Okay, we'll wait for that to set. And then we'll have some fun with the curling iron. For the iris, you can just, you can just curl the tips down. Or I like to grab a section like this and then just kind of turn into it. Kind of hold it up with your fingers. Kind of creates a little bit of a crease that resembles a real iris in your garden. And if you want your, these are your fall petals, are the, the ones on the, the very end here. If you want them to go to actually fall like they do in your garden, just grab a hold of the petal near the stem and pull it down. And again, I'm going to Just grab a hold, turn towards the center, and then pull away. Just give it a little bit of a ruffle. And on the top, I like to, I like to both curl them out, and then on some, curl them in. And curl this one up. Just be creative. Um, no two flowers are the same, and when you're done, don't forget to just stand back and admire your work. Alright, so have fun, admire your work, and don't sweat the small stuff. Mm -hmm.